hi guys today i'm going to do a tutorial on how to color eyes a lot of people asked me to do a tutorial on eyes so that's what i'm doing first thing i do is i make a new layer and then i fill use the fill tool to fill in the irises i'm using metabank paint and it has an ability to fill by whole canvas instead of just by layers and the next thing i'm doing right here is i add like a gradient to the eyes using the airbrush tool so i just go from lightest to darkest and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the pupils. So after I finish touching that up, I use the watercolor tool and grab a darker color from the eye and draw in the pupils. And it, it's, it looks really crazy at first, like it's very frightening. The next thing I do is I take the base color from the eye and I use the pen tool to draw on top of the pupil with the base tool just so it's more like a ring of pupil, I guess. I don't know, it's more like a highlight. She still looks kind of crazy. So we're gonna fix that up and give her more shines. I use the watercolor tool with a lighter color on top of the base layer. And then I use like just a lighter color and just touch it up, make it nice pretty. I use the watercolor tool with a grayish tone to add a slight gloss. Now I don't use white, I use gray because I feel like it gives it a bit of transparency and it looks better than it being stark white. And then, we start getting into the fun part, the add layers. So I take a new layer, clip it to the base layer, and then put an add layer on it, change the transparency just a little bit, and then we have a little bit of a shine. So the next thing we do is make another add layer, make sure it's clipped too, and then we draw in the highlights at the bottom of the eyes. So the circle and the two lines that I add. Next thing I do is add a glow where the um, the main gloss is going to be up there. So I add a glow where that is going to be. Then I draw some lines at the bottom of the eyes. I don't know why, that's just how I do it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some pretty sparkly shapes in the eyes. So usually I'll do a heart, but since I'm doing Cure Grace and she's a flower-themed Pretty Cure, I'm adding little flowers into her eyes. And I make sure to use a, like a complementary color, like something that's going to stand out against the main color. And then at the bottom of the eyes, in between the lines, I add green again to make sure it stands out just a little bit. Next thing I do is go on top of the line work and then add the main catch lights on top of where I put the glows. So that it's kind of like spilling out of the line work. You can I do it sometimes in it, but this time I thought it would look better spilling out of the line work and into the sclera because it's a it's a gloss so and then i add lots of little sparkles on another layer just little speckles of sparkle dust in the eyes just to make it like look a little bit prettier make it look a little bit nicer just and then i do usually do like white and then like a lighter shade of the base color just to make it pop and then at this point i'm basically done with the eyes but i wanted to add more so i added a heart-shaped catch light right at the edge of the eyes then I start filling in the sclera, so I go underneath the iris, fill in the gaps at the line work, and then I'm gonna use the fill tool to fill that up because we work smarter, not harder here. And then in order to shade that, it's very simple. Just use a gray color that has a little bit of either blue or purple in it, just to make it pop. Like, unless your art style isn't super saturated like mine, but mine's very saturated, so it's better off to use like a colorful gray, not a solid gray. Then at this point, I thought I was done, but I wanted to add some color to her eyelashes. So I use the airbrush tool, make sure I'm on Protect Alpha, and then I color in the lashes. And then with the watercolor tool, I just add a little bit of a highlight to the eyes. And then I'm done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. I use Metabank Paint, but you should be able to recreate this inside and maybe Clip Studio Paint. I've never used Clip Studio for this. But yeah, if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see, let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And see you later. Bye-bye.